Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Star Seed here with a message for the collective Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. This is going to be a general message. It is a um, collective reading and it is timeless and it's for all zodiac signs, you guys. So Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. Always use your discernment, okay? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude. Some Palo Santos as well. Thank you guys. We're going to go ahead and... Um, Take a look at the energy surrounding your connection, the energy surrounding you and your person, right? And your person's true intentions. We're also going to take a look and see if there's anything hidden or what's hidden. Okay, so you guys, let's go ahead and tap into this reading and see what is going on here for the collective. I am definitely getting some energy here. It's like something is hidden that's what i'm picking up on or your intuition is kicking in whomever is this is resonating with um it's like your in your intuition is kicking in about something regarding your person right so we're going to go ahead and take a closer look here and see what's going on so you guys please remember as always to only take what resonates leave the rest all energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future, he, she, him, her, people, places, things, you guys. Let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message. Any negative energy, please return to sender. And let's see, what is the message for the collective? So I'm seeing Ace of Cups, and then I'm seeing that Honey Man, right? So it's like there's a new perspective surrounding your love, right? So Ace of Cups is and can be a new beginning. It can also be um, just a lot of love, right, is what I'm getting. And there is a lot of love surrounding this connection, right? But it's like... I'm seeing a new perspective or there's something hidden, reading in between the lines, take a second look, something like that. So I'm getting the energy. Okay, so there, there's another energy I'm picking up on here and I feel like you feel very protective because of this energy. So you have reserves up. This could be a third party, right? You've got your guards up or it's like you feel like something's going on or something regarding a third party. But again, I'm seeing seeing things or reading between the lines or something like that. Um and it's like there's something hidden here, but I'm seeing a lot of love, right? Yeah. This is... And it's like there's something hidden. Like somebody... When I look at this card, it's like somebody is like keeping something hidden. Like they're, they don't want you to know something, but this is someone that loves you. And they know you're very protective over your union, right? This is a protected connection I'm getting. But with the Queen of Wands, I'm seeing here just very much, you don't play about your person and you definitely don't play about your union, right? And there is a lot of love here again. So you guys, something's up here. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. Oh, okay. All right. So you guys, I'm seeing hmm, the King of Swords. King of Swords don't play about this love either, right? So this is a strong connection that you guys have. But you're, I feel like your intuition is kicking in. Like you feel like you need to protect this or your guard is up. Like, 
about somebody you're picking up on something and it's like it's i feel like this it's like divine masculine i feel like this masculine is hiding something right it's like there's something they don't want you to know it's almost like they don't want to jeopardize this connection with you is what i'm getting there's something that they're keeping hidden behind the scenes right Now I'm seeing the Four of Cups. And remember I was picking up on that third party energy. Now I'm seeing the Four of Cups. And I'm also picking up on sneaky energy. Energy trying to cause problems, right? Something like that. But I'm seeing here a love offer. But somebody is not accepting this love offer. Now this is coming next to the King of Swords, right? So this looks like this is your masculine, right? But there's a love offer. But this masculine is like in that king of swords energy. They don't play about you or about your connection. So I'm picking up on very strong energy between you guys. And that's what's hidden. Thank you, spirit. Ah, okay. So I, I'm seeing here, your intuition is kicking in. Someone, there's someone behind the scenes, I feel like, that's trying to, there's energy coming towards this divine masculine and this divine masculine is hiding it because they don't want to jeopardize your connection. You see that? The King of Swords... This is someone that this divine masculine, I believe, has cut off. I believe this is, yes, this is someone that this divine masculine has cut off. So this is someone from the divine masculine's past, right? Oh. It's back? That has come back or is trying to come back? Oh, okay. With the love offer. That's what's hidden with the moon card, right? Mmm. Oh, child. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. Okay, so this love is real between you and Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. This is real. I'm getting that unconditional, very strong bond that you guys share. Yeah. But I feel like that's why this, this Divine Masculine could be acting hot and cold off and on. Oh, so Ten of Wands. This is someone that is not, I feel like, taking no for an answer from this Divine Masculine. It's like they're trying to cause problems. Oh. Oh, this is someone that is trying to cause issues, cause problems. I'm seeing here, they're trying to... It's something I'm hearing about believe. I'm hearing believe, right? So they're trying to get this divine masculine's attention. But why did I just hear like someone won't believe you? Mm. This third party is like trying to I feel like this third party is saying that like they'll, they're going to do something and like saying that you won't believe this divine masculine. They'll, they're trying to create illusions. This third party, sh this divine masculine is dealing with something behind the scenes, right? That's why I feel like you're picking up on why is this person acting different all of a sudden? Or you feel like something sneaky is going on behind the scenes with this person. They're hot and cold off and on. Maybe they're not consistent or as consistent as they once were. It's like 
I'm seeing strength and courage. This divine masculine, I feel I'm getting with the Leo energy, right? And the strength. You're the only one for this divine masculine, right? And I feel like what's irritating this third party, what's causing them to just like lose it behind the scenes is because this divine masculine, they're way too strong to like feed into this or your connection is too strong. Remember I picked up on that earlier in the reading here. I picked up on a lot of love, strength, this divine masculine, very serious about this connection. I picked up on very, a lot of protection. And you guys, you both of you guys are very protective over your union, right? So I'm seeing here a lot of strength with regards to that, right? But there's this communication that keeps coming in. Oh, that's what's hidden too. Child, it just keeps unfolding here. This just keeps unfolding. So it's like, I'm seeing this third party is rushing in with communication, right? So all of a sudden, it's like all of this communication. Um, I feel like there could be fake accounts. There could be... Um, They could be contacting this divine masculine from different telephone because I'm seeing here this divine masculine, this is someone that they had cut off. So this divine masculine must have had them blocked. This is someone from their past. This third party, they had them blocked because I'm picking up on this divine masculine. They weren't, they weren't, this, they were no contact is what I'm getting. Hang on, y'all. Let me grab this card. They were no contact. Divine masculine in this third party. So it was like all of a sudden, oh, okay. So it was like all of a sudden, you guys, I feel like you guys were taking things to the next level. Things were getting very serious between you guys. <clears throat> and I feel like that's when this third party popped up. Uh-huh. Spirit, please give us more. So they've been plotting. This third party has been plotting behind the scenes, I'm getting. Yeah. To come back towards this divine masculine. They've been trying to get their attention, though. They've been trying to get this their this divine masculine's attention is what I'm getting. But you guys have been on your journey of unconditional love. This is a very, very, I keep picking up on that. Your connection is very strong. So this is not something that somebody can just come in between. Wow. I'm seeing an offer or is this person trying to get back on track with this divine masculine? What? See, look, child, I can't make it up. And this divine masculine is cold to them, but it's like they won't stop. So I'm seeing here, it's just, this is what. This divine masculine is trying to cover this up, right? They're trying to, I'm getting, they don't want you to know this. It could have been because you guys had past issues where trust was broken. And this divine masculine is not trying to jeopardize what you guys have rebuilt. But there's love offers coming to this divine masculine, right? And this person is fake. This third party is fake. There is school oh, child, because I'm seeing the page of cups. So just keep bringing, they keep bringing love offers. This divine masculine keeps turning them down. It's like they keep trying to get this divine masculine's attention. Mm. 
now I'm getting another love offer. What is going on here? What is going on here? I'm seeing the Knight of Cups. So, what in the world? This third party is unhinged or something. I'm seeing here. Okay, so we have the Sun card. I'm seeing bright beginnings, right? So you guys did reconcile. There was something that took place between you guys, I feel like, where the trust was broken. So you guys were separated, but you guys reconciled. Now, this could have been recently or it could have been in the past, like distant past. Please take it how it resonates here. But I'm seeing, okay, so... This Divine Masculine, you guys repaired things. You reconciled. You rebuilt this connection. And things are going really well. But now you're picking up. It's like your intuition is kicking in. This is why. This is why your intuition is kicking in, Divine Feminine. Because this Divine Masculine is trying to cover this up. Because they don't want it to jeopardize they don't want it to jeopardize your connection wow i'm seeing communication and a message of good news okay so this communication that i'm seeing here it's like somebody is coming towards you but there's something that it's something of value that this person wants to give to you right It's like I'm hearing, an, this is, with the Ace of Swords, this is the beginning of something. So, something beginning, communication regarding a new beginning, and I'm seeing the Page of Pentacles, and I'm getting that that's something coming in, communication, um, because the pages, they're messengers, right? And I'm getting that. But it's like there's a gift coming or something like that. Something of value and a new beginning. Now, you guys, please take that how it resonates because I am picking up on the energy that this is someone that wants to take things to the next level. Now, okay, whoa. So this Divine Masculine has been talking to someone about taking things to the next level with you. They've been telling someone, and I feel like this is a token of their love. They want to give you something, a token of their love, right? Now, I'm seeing here they've been talking to someone about this because this third party is getting information from someone because I'm getting something to do with timing, I'm hearing, it's like their timing is impeccable, right? Things were going good. You guys were rocking, but then it was like the minute this Divine Masculine started talking to someone about taking things to the next level with you, this third party comes in. So I feel like this is out of the blue. Things were going well. And this Divine Masculine started acting very unpredictable. It was like, just hot and cold, unpredictable. They were inconsistent is what I'm getting, right? Yeah. They were, they, you, you guys, it was like all of a sudden. And that's because this third party, this third party is back and trying to, I'm getting offer. There's love offers. I'm seeing love offers, communication. Oh, child. And they're jealous. This is someone that's jealous of you, Divine Feminine. They're very jealous of you. That's what it is. I'm seeing the world card. There's a new cycle starting. There's a new cycle starting. 
between you and divine masculine. Things are progressing, taking things to the next level, long-term commitment, a lifetime commitment, right? Spying. This person has been spying. This third party has been spying on Divine Masculine and you and your union is what I'm getting. But they're getting information from someone that's close as well. And they found out that this Divine Masculine is ready to take the next step. Oh, yes. We have the Page of Wands and we have the Three of Pentacles. So I'm seeing building. You guys rebuilt this union. I'm getting there was a reconciliation. So I feel like maybe there were a lot of people that felt as though this would never happen. Um, that you guys would never come back together. But your love overcame this, right? Whatever took place in the past. And it was something to do with trust being broken, right? But I'm getting that you overcame this. And this was not the outcome that this third party or people expected for that matter. Yeah, but you guys definitely overcame it and you got like, a, I'm getting a beautiful outcome here, right? But now it's like now that things are progressing, this third party is trying to block this connection. See, I'm seeing hermit mode, right? So it's like somebody is isolated or something. I'm seeing spirit. Why is hermit card here? Why is that hermit card showing up? Okay. So that's deep. I'm seeing the hermit card and I'm also seeing the king of cups. So king of cups is definitely giving me the energy that this divine masculine is deeply in love with you and they would rather be by themselves than not with you that's what i'm getting and i just seen 22 22 on the timer when i was saying that right so this is definitely a divine union right uh-huh this divine masculine realizes you're their divine counterpart they they don't want anyone else that's what i'm seeing here what else spirit please give us more for that hermit card and the King of Cups. Okay. Okay. Confirmation on the Divine Union. Heavy on the Divine Union. This is a past life connection. Twin flame connection, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Father of Cups. And then I'm seeing Mother of Cups. So King of Cups, Queen of Cups, right? This is a Divine Connection. This came out back to back. I just asked Spirit, please give me more. Like, why is this? Because it's like, you guys, you, this connection, you guys can't be separated. You're inseparable, right? Inseparable, irreplaceable in each other's life. Ciao. Woo. It's like you guys are so connected too. Because look at how the cards came out. You see how they're looking at each other? You guys are so focused and protective of each other. And this is a protected connection. Come through spirit. I'm loving this energy. I'm loving this energy for y'all. I am. I am. Yes. What else we got here, spirit? Ooh. Yeah, there is a, hmm, this divine masculine with that, that king of swords, this is someone they cut off from the past, and they're in their head. This person is losing it because of the love that you guys share. This person is losing it because of your union. This is not their union, but they're losing it because of your union, right? You guys were made for each other, right? This is a soul contract I'm getting here. A soul connection. Wow. Mm. This divine masculine, though, I feel like is 
because of what's taken place in the past between you guys, <clears throat> see, two of pentacles. So there was a transformation in the past somewhere where you guys rebuilt from some type of indiscretion, all right? So there was a third party in the past. Now, for some of you guys, this could have been the third party from the past, right? That is back now trying to come in between this connection again. But this divine masculine has severed the ties with this person, right? This is a dark energy, definitely a dark energy that is hyper fixated, obsessing over divine masculine, obsessing over you, divine feminine. And also, they're like obsessing over your whole union. This is someone in this divine masculine who's trying to hide their actions. This person's um, love offers, their attempts, right, to come back towards them. Because this divine masculine doesn't want you to doubt their love or feel as though there's anything, anything is going to jeopardize your connection. But I feel like this divine masculine hiding something is also causing an issue because now you're thinking, well, your intuition's telling you this divine masculine's hiding something, right? So now I feel like with you, that could be triggering some past, you know, you're starting to think like, okay, is this divine masculine like got something else going on? But it's like, I feel like this divine masculine is covering, they're cloaking, right? Because they don't want you to feel as though their love is not true, right? And they're concerned. This is worrying this divine masculine about your future, right? Because I feel like this third party is being very reckless because in the past, they, this divine masculine, I feel like was in that like a player, right? Or non-committal in the past. And divine masculine, when they were, when they were past, right? They were in this lower vibrational energy before they came into contact with you, divine feminine. I'm getting that, you know, they were very easily distracted. And I feel like this third party feels as though they can still distract them from you and from this connection, right? But I feel it's what's happening is even though they were juggling in the past and there were some trust issues, you're their main priority, divine feminine. And this third party knows it because this divine masculine's letting them know. I mean, this divine masculine has them blocked. They're calling them from fake numbers. They're trying to contact them from fake profiles, divine feminine. Yeah. Child, what else we got here, Spare? Please give us more. What else we got? See, this divine masculine don't want you to get in that queen of swords energy. You guys did a lot of work in the past. That's for some of you guys now that are reconciling or have reconciled in the past with this person. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm seeing... I'm seeing the Knight of Wands. So I'm seeing this, I'm seeing the Queen of Swords. So you may even be getting kind of cold or distant because you feel there's a shift in this Divine Masculine's energy. But I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands, this Divine Masculine there's something to do with action. So you're starting to pull back. That's why this divine masculine is starting to worry. Because they're trying to keep this hidden. They don't want you to feel like you can't trust them. But then it's like your, your intuition's picking up on they're hiding something, right? So now you're pulling your energy back. And it's because, see, seven of swords. So this third party... It, Keep trying to take action towards this divine masculine, this emperor. This is an emperor. This divine, this is a divine masculine. They're fully awakened, tapped into their higher self. This divine masculine is no longer the person that this third party knew in the past. 
Aries energy on the board. Yes. This third party is losing it, okay? I'm getting that. You may even be noticing this divine masculine being kind of like maybe secretive with their phone all of a sudden. Maybe they weren't that way before, like, you know, or like, it's like this divine masculine may, you know, answer telephone calls and it's like, your, your intuition's picking up on something going on with the phone calls, right? Ten of Cups. So I'm seeing Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and then I'm seeing the Six of Wands. So I'm seeing Happily Ever After. I'm seeing Very Good Karma. This Divine Masculine's intentions are pure. They're good. Very good karma. I'm not picking up on dark energy from this divine masculine at all. I'm seeing happiness and victory, right? Public celebration. And I feel like that is tying in with that gift, a token of their love. This divine masculine wants to, they want to take things to the next level with you. But I feel like that's why, I feel like this divine masculine's been telling someone just that, that they want to take things to the next level with you, divine feminine. And this third party is doing everything they can to block this connection at this point. Ooh, ciao. Something about phone calls, they're like, it's like they're, when they're talking, it's like they're trying to hide something. I feel like this third party's threatening to contact you. Mm-hmm. Because remember I heard, they'll never believe you. I feel like that's this third party saying like, you'll never believe divine masculine over their manipulations. They're creating some illusion, some type of false narrative. There's a lot of manipulation going on here, right? This divine masculine is in regret, right? I feel like regret that they ever knew this person. Please give us more for this five of, five, ooh, five of pentacles. This divine masculine, they don't want to lose you. That five of pentacles. This has got this divine masculine stressing out. See? Something to do with speed, right? Because this divine masculine has plans. They have future plans for your connection, divine feminine. I heard a surprise. There's something this divine masculine wants to surprise you with, and that could be that token of their love is what I'm getting. Yes. There's a new beginning here or a new cycle starting, or you guys are ascending together is what I'm getting. There's ascension here, but I'm seeing ascending to the next level of this union a new beginning, and this third party is behind the scenes trying to get this divine masculine's attention. It's like they're trying to rewrite your love story or trying to place themselves in this story, right? Wow. Please give us more. It's like this person doesn't even care if they appear to be a villain. Just as long as they get, just as long as they get with Divine Masculine, they don't even care how they look, child. This is messy. Two of Wands, I'm seeing. Taking action to cause a difficult ending. And they're moving quick because they know that this Divine Masculine, you're... Your union is 
your union is moving forward. That's what I'm getting. And this third party feels like they have to move fast to block this. Somebody is telling this third party information, feeding them what is going on. There's a karmic in here. Yeah, there's a karmic. You got multiple people jealous of you, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. They don't want to see you happy with this Divine Masculine, right? Yeah. I'm seeing change. Ooh. There's multiple people, I feel like, in competition with you. In secret competition as well. I feel like this third party, it's like they they want to be with Divine Masculine and to hurt you. They're doing this to hurt you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? It's like there's something deeply embedded in this person, right? Very dark, diabolical energy. Or there is someone... There is someone that is sending them. Confirmation, truth. Boom. There's someone sending this third party. Could be someone gassing them up like, you still got a shot. I feel like Divine Masculine still loves you. Because you know that they're getting ready to, I think this Divine Masculine, I overheard, or something like that. Divine Masculine wants to marry Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Or... They're getting ready to um, move in together or things are getting serious. Did you know that they were moving in together or did you know that they were doing, um, they were got a business together or there is somebody that is definitely, somebody's behind the scenes. There's another energy here that's hyping them up, hit, g g gassing them up, telling them lies, right? There's multiple jealous energies here. This is all about you, Divine Feminine. These energies are coming at Divine Masculine because of you, Divine Feminine. And this Divine Masculine is trying to Quiet this down. This is something that's worked in the past, Divine Feminine. They came in between you and this Divine Masculine before. But the source is not this third party. There's a karma. The source behind the scenes there's a karmic, right? Two of swords. I'm seeing blind loyalty, blind choice, right? I'm also seeing a lot of work. Please give us more. Why is the two of swords here, spirit? Have the magician card. Okay. Why is the magician card here, spirit? I'm hearing, don't worry about it. This connection is protected with the seven of wands. What they're doing behind the scenes, just know that you have everything that this divine masculine wants and needs. 
and you have everything that these karmic and third party energies want but will never embody the magician card your ears should be ringing your ears should be ringing divine feminine because I feel like you're being somebody's speaking you into existence <clears throat> that power of the tongue right someone is speaking you into existence divine feminine somebody keeps bringing your name up someone keeps talking about your union it's two feminine energies or multiple feminine energies behind the scenes plotting this union is protected transformation this divine masculine is not who they once were see that the death card transformation scorpio energy on the board this divine masculine is not who they once were divine feminine and they've liberated away from a lot of energy i don't know why i just heard a family member there's somebody that this divine masculine detached from and it's also a family member so there is i'm getting toxic energies right I feel like a lot of sabotage going on. I'm picking up on sabotage. And I feel like the source could be a family member or someone very close to this divine masculine. Because this is someone that definitely has information and they're communicating it with this third party. And they're manipulating this third party. They sent this third party. Yeah, this third party is being guided by this another energy, right? To come towards divine masculine. Ciao. But I'm seeing balance. I'm seeing balance in this divine masculine being attached to you, divine feminine. Oh. Okay. Five of Cups. That's why I've seen that equal give and take, the Six of Pentacles. So this Divine Masculine realizes in the past that they didn't do right by you. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. They realized that they didn't treat you the way that you should have been treated, the way you deserve. And I'm seeing here, they're worried about your future because of this third party's manipulation. This is someone that's very manipulative and they don't want this to jeopardize the future of your connection. But I'm seeing here, this divine masculine is in regret for what has taken place in the past. But I'm seeing here very stable energy. So again, with the king of pentacles, this divine masculine is no longer who they once were. And I'm seeing a victory. So this divine masculine does not fall prey to these types of manipulations and things like that. There are so many people. What? I don't. Divine feminine, you're very attractive. You're beautiful, right? And you get a lot of attention. But I feel like there is like something unhinged here because to try and figure out why these people are so obsessed with you and so jealous of you, I feel like would be, child, we got to tap into, I don't know. It's like, I just heard a caution record, child. These people, mm, look at this. This is a divine connection. Oh, yes, a divine connection. And this divine masculine is taking action to take things to the next level. 
and then you have with new levels you got new devils or in this case old devils there's the devil card right there mm-hmm capricorn energy on the board getting that karmic energy that third party energy trying to block this ace of pentacles the new beginning so trying to block you guys from taking things to the next level this next level of commitment is what i'm getting right <clears throat> yeah spirit please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine please give us more for the collective empress the jealousy is real I feel like, you know, I feel like it could be a family member with this divine masculine that's the source of these issues. And it may be not, or not for all of you guys, but I feel like these people would have an issue with you regardless of who you were with. I'm going to go that far. That's the energy I'm getting with this empress that came up. You attract a lot of attention, Divine Feminine. Also, too, with this Empress energy, this is definitely, um, I'm getting very strong, independent, right? You you have a high level of esteem, right? A high level of self-esteem, but you're also very beautiful. So it's not like you're conceited or anything like that. And I feel like that inner light that you carry, so not only are you attractive but you have this inner light right and you're here on a divine purpose you're here on a soul mission right so you have angelic qualities about you your essence it's that essence right that divine essence that you embody and they can't they can't imitate it they can't duplicate it this is something that they cannot shape shift so these people i feel like try and look like you they try and dress like you do their hair like you makeup all of that stuff right but they will never embody the essence of you right and you and divine masculine are locked in because this is a divine masculine and you're a divine feminine so you're divine counterparts so remember i picked up on how strong this connection is from the very beginning these energies are frustrated because now you guys, again, have ascended. This divine masculine ascended. So they were fragmented, distorted before, but they are no longer in that place, right? Mm-hmm. So this is an unbreakable bond. But even when you guys separate it, you always come back to each other. These are very miserable, dark energies is what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more. Oh, what else we got? Oh, okay. See, you have the key to this Divine Masculine's heart. But I feel like if it wasn't the Sublime Masculine and it was someone else, it still wouldn't matter. These people would still be. I feel like any union that you've been in, Divine Feminine, it's always been some type of jealous energies. And it's because it's your light. It's your light, Divine Feminine. That's what it is. And I feel like on your mission here it's like divine feminine you you know you come to bring that unconditional love right you're a healer a light worker a star seed and you come to bring that unconditional love right but it's like you're always under attack or what you have or anything that's close to you is always under attack that's because you have a specific mission it is yep Spirit, please give us more. Mm -hmm. It's always using discernment, right? 
But if, and you know, it's like, when you really think about it though, these people will, they've never, <clears throat> as much as these people have tried in the past to have what you have and take what you have, right? They never get it or they always lose it. It always comes back to you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. You're more powerful than you know, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more. Wow. Mmm. That's what I just said. That past life connection, I'm tapping into that, right? Um, somebody's really upset at your power. The power that you have. Ooh, what else we got? The chariot card. Why is the chariot card here, Spirit? Because that's somebody coming in with speed. That could be someone coming in, trying to communicate fast, right? What else we got? But this is someone, I feel like this is that unhinged type of energy I'm picking up on. Somebody rushing in for a new beginning. That's what your, there it is. That's what your intuition's picking up on. That's exactly what it is. This is what your intuition is picking up on. And this is what the Sabine Masculine is hiding. They've been hiding this, right? Because the Sabine Masculine doesn't want any discord in your union, right? But I feel like if you read between the lines, Divine Feminine, you'll see. You're going to see the truth. This divine masculine wouldn't do anything to jeopardize this connection. It's these outside energies that want to jeopardize it. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. King of Wands. King of Wands, and then we have... They could never be you. King of Wands. You're very powerful, Divine Feminine. You are you, you have a subtle power about you, and it's subtle, right? So it's like these energies get so frustrated because I feel like you're not really reactive either. You don't react to this low vibrational energy, but it's like you're a magnet. You're a magnet. You always get what you want. You always get what you need, right? You always come out on top. Queen of Pentacles, nurturing energy. And you're always very, I'm getting just that very healing, loving, nurturing energy. That unconditional love people like to be around you. And it's like people sit back and there's people that can't stand that. Like literally, it has people in disgust is what I'm getting. The jealousy is real. The envy is real up in this reading, y'all. Yes, it is. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Yes. This is what they, they, this divine masculine trying to hide these love offers from this third party. They've been, I'm getting like stalking them. Yeah, there's, that's what's going on behind the scenes. And I feel like they're getting phone calls from them from different numbers. That's for some of you guys. If you notice, this divine masculine's acting different, like with their phone or something like that. This is why they're getting phone calls and, it's like this third party is threatening to contact you. They better get some balance with that. Look, Spirit said, yeah, yeah, that might not be in their best interest, right? Because you're very powerful. They're not going to get the reaction they want out of you, but I feel like they're only going to provide clarity. But I feel like this reading is providing clarity of what's going on behind the scenes, see? 
chaos and conflict. I just heard leave me alone. That's this divine masculine telling this third party to leave them alone. Yeah, what else we got? See, this divine masculine I'm seeing here, they're in their head and they're not gonna be able to keep this secret much longer. They're not gonna be able to keep this hidden or keep a secret from you much longer about this, right? Because it's like this third party is like threatening. It's like they're saying like, oh, I'm going to contact the Divine Feminine. Yeah. And I feel like you may... See, this third party also wants... They want that interaction with you. Because then this will keep them relevant. Because this Divine Masculine is trying to ignore them. So if this third party... Because, see, there's a karmic behind the scenes. There's multiple jealous energies. See, it's like a coven. It's like a group of them, right? I'm getting a group of people. It's like multiple people involved here. Haters, right? That are like, and they send this one person out. This is the one person that is, you know, like, they can manipulate them, right? So they send this person out to cause these issues between you and Divine Masculine, right? So it's like a coven, dark energy. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up on some mystical, magical energy, right? But because this Divine Masculine is not engaging, right? This Divine Masculine is ignoring. I feel like that's why they're going to try and do something like reach out to you. That's for some of you guys, right? To cause chaos and conflict because they want this Divine Masculine's attention so bad. And they're not getting it. Because guess what? This Divine Masculine realizes you are their wish fulfillment. They have who they want. You're their forever person. Meaning this lifetime, next lifetime, yes. Coming to harvest, right? Right? Somebody trying to come and harvest this union that's not for them. <clears throat> Your divine counterparts. You guys, child, this love is true. Your love is true with this person. Aquarius energy on the board. And they're trying to cause a tower and trying to get this divine masculine. No. Oh. So. They realize this love is true. This divine masculine's love is true for you. This is not a game. This divine masculine's love is true. And I'm seeing that with the tower card and the three of wands, they're working on causing a tower moment, getting you to turn your back on divine masculine since they can't get divine masculine to turn their back on you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because this divine masculine is like... no contact, doesn't want to talk to them, won't give them the time of day, right? They're calling from different numbers, stalking. I'm getting fake accounts, fake profiles. Trolling is what I'm getting. A lot of trolling going on, right? Yeah, all kinds of stuff, right? With regards to social media. Trying to create these illusions. You could be seeing things on social media that you're wondering, like, what's going on with Divine Masculine? Like, why are they saying this? That's them with their manipulation. This Divine Masculine, look, they want that Four of Wands with you. That's where they're trying to take things to the next level, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Oh, chow. This is something else. And there's multiple. There is multiple energies here. This is like a group, a group of karmics. Oh, wow. Mm, 1111 showing up. We got 1111. I'm seeing Seven of Cups. That's the card that just flew over. Seven of Cups choices and then we got look the three of swords in reverse oh because this divine masculine is choosing you and choosing 
this future with you. Third party, three of cups and the three of swords. Third party is broken hearted. Behind the scenes is what I'm getting because of this abundant beginning lover's card, romantic union between you and divine masculine, divine feminine. See, I told y'all, look at this. Judgment, a second chance. So people never thought that you guys would rebuild this connection is what I'm getting, divine feminine. But now I'm seeing with the eight of cups, they're trying to get you to walk away. Yeah, this energy is trying to get you to walk away, Divine Feminine. Child. Let me grab this card. See? The Seven of Cups. They're losing it because this Divine Masculine chooses you. Broken hearted, third party out here. And look at them, birds on a wire, just watching and gossiping. Like the birds on a wire. Child. Let's get some oracle. Let's get some oracle. That's what your intuition is kicking in on though, right? It's like, why do you feel like there's something going on? Why are you feeling like there's something happening with this divine masculine or something you're picking up on? That's what your intuition is picking up on. Yep. Y'all, let me put these cards here. Ciao. Let's go ahead and pull some oracle. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, what's ahead for this connection? What is it that Divine Feminine needs to know going forward? True intentions, please, Spirit, please give us more. Because there is a lot. Flames of passion, okay? Let the flames of passion light your way and be mindful of the fires. They may ignite in your journey. Now, I'm going to read that again because this that's, that's appropriate. Let the flames of your passion light the way. So, love on your person. Continue to love on your person. I'm seeing here. But be mindful because that love, that passion that you guys share, that's undeniable, that is out of this world is what I'm getting. Otherworldly is what I'm getting. Be mindful that that passion ignites what it ignites on your journey. That jealousy. Boom. Cut through the fog. Read between the lines, Divine Feminine. Inner vision. Go into yourself. I'm getting ta definitely tapping into your intuition because you're picking up on something. But if you read between the lines, because the devil is always in the details, y'all, you're going to see the inconsistencies. You're going to see what's really going on here. I'm seeing cut through the fog of confusion with your power of discernment. Always using your discernment, you guys. Yes, always using your discernment. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Harmony's call. Embrace Embrace the equality and the harmony in your union at this time and just go with it. Go with the flow because this is a protected connection, Divine Feminine. What else we got here? S sweep away any doubts that you have and know that you are on the right path. Come through, Spirit. Get rid of any doubts in your mind about this person. Yes. This person's intentions are pure. This love is pure, right? Yes. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. What else we got? Mmm. I'm seeing steady as you go. And just know, look, everything's working out in divine timing, you guys. Be patient. Some things take time to manifest fully in your life. But these things, there's a lot unfolding right now. And I feel like that's where, you know, it's like somebody has that inside track knowing that you guys are getting ready to take things to the next level. And now it's like magic. Just out of the blue, right? Like magic, this third party just pops up, right? When things are going good or you guys are ready to take things to the next level. That's not a coincidence at all. That is not by chance. That is not coincidence. Mm -mm. Nope. 
this is purely intentional is what I'm getting. What else we got here? Yes. What else do we have, Spirit? I'm seeing harness the power of your networks so the people around you cultivating meaningful relationships. Patience is your ally. Celebrate each step forward no matter the size is what I'm getting. And somebody is definitely making plans. This is, I'm seeing divine timing and then I'm also seeing making plans, right? This divine masculine is planning a future. They are planning a future with you. And I'm seeing here honest echoes. So listen to the whispers of your heart because your heart knows the whole truth. Allow your heart to guide you. Discernment. Mmm. Ciao. Let's get a couple more here, you guys. Wow. Veil of illusion. Lift the veil of illusion. Seeking truth beneath the surface. Through love, you'll find out. So again, that's all about you using your discernment. Tapping into your intuition. Your intuition's kicking in. Just go deeper and you'll see the truth. And you'll find the inconsistencies. You'll see what's exactly what exactly is going on here. Sarah, please give us more. And be open to receive. Invite abundance with your open arms. Embrace the blessings waiting to flow into your life. So don't let nobody block these blessings, right? Because look, next card, a commitment. I'm seeing the roots. Foundation is there. Yes. And wish granted. Y'all, the outcome is going to be exactly what you need, right? This outcome is going to be exactly what you need, being open to receive I'm seeing a secure foundation fostering growth and stability. There's a, a journey ahead of commitment with you and Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Wow. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye.